Hey, don't adjust the channel. You rocking with your boy Blade. Ain't no telling what we gonna get into today. It's gonna be action packed. I want you to like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get the freshest, the hottest, the newest videos. This channel is all about inspiration. It's all about positivity, good energy. But we definitely gonna have fun. We're gonna work hard. We're gonna think smart. But we're gonna have fun more than anything on this channel. But I want y'all to let all your friends know, even your baby mama. They call you 19, man. man. Man, it seems like every time I look at this thing, you done sanded some more on it. I just got his, uh, I just got the front end of his level. Mm -hmm. and my, uh, my middle stripe level. And make sure I didn't have no little pit holes in it. If I needed that straight, I need that blocked out so I don't see that shit going down the hill. So that's why I'm going to shoot the thin coat of primer on that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and just let it ride. Yeah. Man, I can picture you now, man. How you, show us how you going to be grabbing the wheel, Mr. Mike. You know what I do? First, get in and back back out. How you gonna be driving it? And go forward. I got it like this, and on the armrest. Yeah, show us how the old school players do it. They hold you, put them two fingers right there in the side of the wheel, like that, right there. You know, you got that three prong, that, that diamond star wheel. You put that, you put it right there, and kind of lay on the door a little bit, not quite on the door. You kind of lay on the door. Yeah. And you had a arm, the headrest up about like that. Yeah. So they can't see the back of your head. But when they can pull up beside you, go. <laughs> <laughs> And you cruising. You ain't gonna go nowhere. Uh, this is almost Mike coming, man. I see how Mr. Mike say he coming. He say he gonna grab the wheel with two fingers, man. That's the way we do it. Yeah. And what I did was I primed. I could picture spot. that. I could picture you doing that. Yeah, man. And the lady, she's gonna be laughing. Tell me, you crazy. It's just crazy. having fun, man. And yeah. really, in I don't know what happened. My phone, like, it didn't want to, it just cut off just now. And you know, you see this car I'm doing right now? Yeah. This is the first car that I would have ever done for myself that's old school and mm -hmm. completed the car. Motor, suspension, tires, everything, and go down the road. The same thing I'm doing with this Monte Carlo. Yep. And I've done a lot of cars for other people. Mm -hmm. This will be the first one I've ever done for myself. Outside of this car, the only other car I wanted was the 63 Bonneville. And, it, and I think Bonneville. that's the thing that I didn't understand came with this game. Cause like you see these successful body shop owners and they got all these badass cars and they doing this, they doing that. But then you sit back and you like, you know what I mean? They have a successful game plan. They yeah. have a niche. And they got you know people mean? working for them so they can work on their own shit. Yeah. What do you think the old man want to do that bust the paint booth? Mm hmm That's what he wants to do, but since he can't really paint, that's the reason why he kept messing with that methamphetamine head because he could figure he could get some out of it, but the meth guy wasn't as dumb as he thought he was. Man. The meth, he wanted paint. The meth guy wanted meth. Mm hmm So what happened? The meth guy won, didn't he? Mm. He won, brother. Yeah. He took total advantage of a good situation. Total fucking advantage, bro. Total fucking advantage. And he's still up to the same old stuff. Some people ain't gonna never change. Nope. But when you're doing this, people, long story made short, man. I'm just trying to tell y'all, take some pride in what you do. You know what I mean? It ain't gotta be the best, but just... You see this man, he done put a lot of hours into this. This is the part that I don't think that people see. He don't even, if I asked him how many hours he probably got into this car, he probably wouldn't be able to tell me. But just looking at it, I would say roughly 250, approaching more of the 300 side, just because how big the panels and stuff is. How many hours do you think you got into this thing? 
I say about 300, 200, yeah. closer to 300. If I get the motor, the motor's in the garage. Yeah. Rebuilt. But how many hours you think? I think just for this body alone, if I had to work on it every day, let's say just eight hours a day, I probably got a good month, month and a half in this car. And I still got to put floors in. But I could have done it a lot quicker and I could have done it a lot cheaper, but I was working on other stuff while I was doing it. Yeah, Plus, because you got to keep the money coming. Yes. Because working on our, our personal cars ain't going to make no money. Don't it's going to cost it. money. <laughs> <laughs> and then if something this rare, anything you go and buy is going to cost hell of a lot more. Yeah. And everything you just started to looking at, it's pretty much fab, bro, because you can't buy nothing for it. So I have to be very careful when I touch this car, because if it breaks, I'm SOL. I got to try to make it. Mm hmm So... It, it's, just, it's just a piece that I can enjoy for myself and my wife. We can just enjoy it and just let it go. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. So if I die before I sell the car, my kids get it. Guess what it's going to do? They're going to give it away. But mm. my, my baby's going to tear it up. This is my 35-year-old. I mean, my 39-year-old. You don't mind this going on YouTube, do you, Mr. Mike? No. Okay. I'm just telling you what you're saying. Now. I don't want to talk about it. Are oh, you talking about it right now? Oh, me. See, we got to cut off the video now, Mr. Mike. We got to cut off the We got to cut off Spray the edges. Hit my spots with thin, with thin primer. Thin primer. Like spots like that, like that, like that, like right there. And I got a couple on the door, a couple on the trunk. Why not just shoot some white silver? Got that silver drop 24 hours. Man, he don't believe in shooting silver, man. He ain't nope. shooting no silver. See, I come from where you got to shoot the silver. That's all I know. I can't do what you do. This is this is good experience. Yeah, definitely. But at the same time, it's what you've been taught too, and how you've been taught. So, yeah. the products that I'm using, they didn't exist when you started. You know what I mean? Like y'all was spraying single stage when you started, and when I started. See, the technology by the time I received it, it was already old to you, because you was in the game. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So like the things that I know, like when you talk about like epoxy, when you talk about enamel, acrylic. We talk about all these different, so it's an enamel, you got lacquer, you have clear coat, clear coat base coat, two stage. Mm -hmm. um, but then like when you talk about primers though, that's why I want, that's more what I'm looking at. Like when they say a polyester, they have so many different type of primers. Well, the primers, what they, they invented those primers for people that are lazy. Mm -hmm. that don't want to do what you see me do to this car. Like you see me block that hood and prime it and let it dry and then block it down to where you can't see them but those are fine scratches where they're covered. Look right mm -hmm. there. You see them scratches right there? Yep. That's how you block. You don't You don't need high bill primer. I made it high bill primer. Mm. And you spray 1K? Spray That's 1K? Regular, regular lacquer primer, 1K. Mm -hmm. And you block it down to that and I'm going to go back and dust them lightly because you can only put on the part that they didn't teach you. You can only put on as much paint as you have primer. Mm. If you put on two coats of paint, you better have two coats of primer. A little better than two coats of primer. If you put on three coats of paint, you better have three coats of primer. Because what'll happen is that paint will penetrate through that primer and it'll start cracking up and lifting. Man, like you got about four stages of primer on this thing, man. Block, block and prime. So they block and prime, block and prime. Primer because you don't have the patience to do what I did. Yeah, that's all right. I know is how I build. Right. So now you can shoot the high build primer and walk away. Mm -hmm. That's all I know. Right. Why are you why are you talking? See oh, man, talking hey man, down. say man, Mr. Mike. Bruh, Mr. Bruh, Mike be bruh, going at the new bruh, school guys. Bruh, bruh. <laughs> the new school guys, and I be telling them all I know is high bill primer. Exactly. All I know is Sherman Williams MP75. If y'all don't believe me, call Sherman Williams and ask him for a basic MP75 5 to 2 1 ratio. Five parts primer, two parts reducer, and one part hardener. Mm -hmm. And then you can turn it into a sealer as well. 
See? And it has etching primer built into it. So, etching but- primer is for raw metal. You know what you do for raw metal? Yep. Go out down the hood yeah, when we, I strip it to the metal. Back in the day, we would wipe it down yeah. with paint thinner, lacquer thinner, and a can right there. Wipe it down with lacquer thinner, mm -hmm. and we'd shoot a coat of primer, block it, mm -hmm. wipe it down again, shoot a coat of primer, and guess what the primer does? It's a bonding adhesion. So it makes the primer stick to the raw, stick to the raw metal. We didn't use that shit in the plant. Y'all didn't have no etching? No, there was no such thing as etching primer. We were the etch. Mm. And the primer was in that can, that lacquer primer that I got over in that can. A cassie lacquer primer. So that's what you do. Is is what happens is they increase the price to double or more because people don't have the patience to do what I did. Man, that Sherman Williams, I want to tell them. MP seventy five, Sherman Williams, they basic primer. You mean bare to metal. Twelve thousand dollars for a gallon of it too. Man, now he ain't that high. It's like um probably like six hundred dollars exactly. for a setup. So I didn't spend six hundred dollars. I'm gonna get the same results. Mm -hmm. But then I have to show you how to spray that so that don't nothing lift. You Just the that material. Truck lift over there. That 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 plumber's truck. Oh man, we gonna say it on YouTube. Oh, he saw it. It did. Oh it man, lifted, it lifted because it wasn't me. Right. It was it was something they put up under the paint. Mm. It was the previous paint that had been hit and painted before. Cause I got this YouTube video, so we can link all this stuff together. Then absolutely. So because I, I got the truck on there, right. the well, box truck. Oh, he know because I told him I skipped it. Right? Yeah, but we we both we all told him that, and man, I'm glad you hit. Man, you be hearing some points, Mister Mike, because my YouTube video I want to be real. Right. So and when I sometimes it, shit happens, and a lot of times shit happens. You got to know what to do, because I can man. teach you to paint in 15 minutes. I can teach you to prime and block in 30 minutes. But when the shit go bad, what you gonna do? Exactly. Then you're gonna be calling me every time. That's so why you here. What happens is <laughs> you're retarded. That's why I love you. You're retarded. Because I was like, hey man, see now this is because of you doing the body work and everything and um the rare parts and it is something that's sentimental to you. That's why you chose this car, it's not about the money, it's about this car. But this car has such distinctive lines. That's what I love about it. Yeah, you know I mean, but I'm like, I don't know, some people may not be into that, but that's I think I mean. everybody that's really into cars, it's the lines on every vehicle. Exactly. That make that vehicle what it is. Wait, wait till you see it dressed up. Wait till you see the top on it, the wheels and tires on it, the two inch white wall. Now I'm going to go some 80 folds, man. Do it how they do it in Houston. Put some swingers on it. No, then, then my car going to come up missing. <laughs> then I got to go through the neighborhood and, and push my button and raise everybody's garage door <laughs> simultaneously. <laughs>
to me personally, I don't think there's enough material in that trunk. That looks like it's bleeding through. He's gonna have to reshoot that. That don't look good. As far as it looks too thin. That trunk looks too thin. Man, yeah, but he there. Oh man, a little bit of run right there. It's still fresh, so I don't want to touch it, but that's that's a that's a that's a run there, man. Say Man, the man sprayed his ass off though. I ain't gonna lie to you. You know what I mean? I used to be kinda ashamed to show the runs and everything and hell, that's part of the business and a lot of my partners be telling me, man, don't run from it. Show the real. Let's see if it look better in the light. Yep. Yep, that's exactly what I thought. That trunk, that trunk gotta be reshot. Help him put his hood back on if he want me to. But uh, I'm just glad he got it done. So we can go ahead and we can uh, jump on the Monte Carlo. So the first order of business that I'm gonna do today, of course, I'm gonna unmask it and get everything together. I may sand that down for black paint. I may. Um, the first order of business is gonna be to unmask it and then um, start seeing if I can get those um, decals off with a heat gun and maybe a little straight, like a, a razor blade or something. You know what I mean? Just try to peel them off. So this one already, yeah, like it wanna come off. Maybe just hit it all with a little bit of a razor. Cause when I send everything with 180, I don't want to have to go crazy on that because I know that's gonna gunk up all my sandpaper and everything. And then you have to usually go real crazy with it. The next thing I'm gonna do is uh, have to go aggressive on this car while I'm restoring it. I only want to go aggressive on the areas that's needed. This is a major concern for me right here in this door. So we're gonna crack that open. I'm trying to not do that much sanding and stir up no dust because we don't have the boof anymore. It's so, I don't wanna uh, make it harder for Mr. Mike or create more work for him. So my whole thing is to uh, just do everything I could do right now without stirring up a bunch of dust. So yeah, but man, this thing looking, looking pretty sharp, man. It's looking pretty sharp, all in all. I think right now it's probably like with the trunk being resprayed, I would say that this car is probably like 92%. Like, it's 90, definitely, it's 90%. Because you think how many panels, you know, doors, everything, I would say probably like 85, 90%, somewhere around that way. High 80s, low 90s, somewhere around that way. Because of, uh, I mean, so many parts to this thing, man. Then you got the cab corners. I don't know where that, one piece that, that goes across there. I don't know where that is, but uh, I'm pretty sure you know where it is. But yeah, man, y'all want to see the G-Body video, man. Um, uh, Some G-Body content. Today is the day. And uh, all I can just tell y'all, man, stay tuned. So we got the scraper. We got a heat gun. And we're going to, uh, man, gotta get some new razor blades. Got a few of them right here. This ain't fresh, but I got more fresh ones somewhere else. Boy, this thing is huge, Mr. Mike. This car. For it to be a two-door car. So what you got going, Mr. Mike? What you about to do, man? Huh? 
What you about to do? Man, all in all, though, man, how you feel? I'm sleepy, actually. Bunch of my on the on about the car. Oh, oh! <laughs> you know what? I actually like it. I really do. I think it come out really, really good. Considering all that dust and spider webs in the roof. Yep, that's exactly where that came. That's exactly where that came from. Man, when I seen it. I said, "Ooh, man." Yep. And I started to blow it down, but if I'd have blow it down, I even tell them what else would have came down with it because inside of the lights and all that kind of stuff would have been more dust. Mm -hmm. So I figured, let me just leave it. And, uh, and just be and just be done with it. So I'll, I'll do the court ain't no big deal. I got enough paint clear to do. Yeah, it's, Plus, it's I need to find the mirror. I gotta go home and find the mirror because I don't know where the driver's mirror is. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Man, <laughs> so. it's not like you're gonna be able to find it just anywhere. Okay, well, I got a box. I keep all that stuff in the box. I got a crate. One of the crates, like you got the yellow ones right there. Mister Mike, you take a look at this for me. And all the parts are there. But I need. I don't think I'm about to hit this for eighty right here. I'm. I'm kind of nervous about what's under there. That should be textured paint. That should be texture. Mm -hmm. And you may find some pitting in there. You may have to put some icing on it when you're done. But these, they usually put textured paint on the bottom of the doors. So did somebody try to do some repair. There's probably some Bondo in here. It, it kind of feels like it, but it may not be. I don't think it is. I think it's just pitting. I think this paint is pitted, that's all. Because it's almost like they just dabbed the paint over the top. Like how old buddy say he dabbed in the clear over the fish eyes. Never in my life. Never. You never been told that one? Never in my life. You ain't never used that trick? No, that's not a trick. <laughs> that's a bad fucking joke, a bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, so man, I see you touching up this, this what we, this what I really wanted to do was focus on the classic cars and create content, good fun content. And me and Mr. Mike have some fun um, especially being that I already know we got to move forward. And the surprise that I've been waiting to tell y'all is I'm going to rap school. So this spot no longer fits my needs, which is a great thing. Um, it's too much space and it's going to require too much of repairs. And is this a bad position I'm in if I stay? Long story made short. So the rap has to be cleaner. Clean. You gotta be real sterile. Kitchen clean. No dust. Kitchen clean. You know I mean, you know, dust always blowing in Ooh. through here. Man. Yeah. Yep. And then the thing is, is like, do I keep on putting money in here? You, you seen I just bought them light bulbs. I know. And they were quite expensive. <laughs> Take them down. Man. Put the blown ones back in. It's there. like, where are you gonna put them at? You know what I mean? How I'm gonna get them down? You should have saved them. I'll bring them Man. Around. I tossed them all out. He left them in the back. But yeah, man, I'm finna get on this. Y'all stay tuned. So he sanded everything back down. And he said he's going to hit it again, man. Because it was exactly what I thought I was seeing. So he said he's going to hit it again. So he got everything masked off. Got everything masked off. The ready to shoot this quarter again. And his dick lid, this trunk. So, try number two, man. We'll see how it go, man. See, that's the thing I'm gonna be talking about with the paint business. You get what I'm saying? Like people don't be seeing this part. You know what I mean? More material, more time, more downtime, because now you gotta let it dry. So now, you know what I mean? We got more days into this thing. So, yep, just like that. That's how this thing always goes. So, boom, he got that going. I wind up getting all the stripe off on this side, all the way down to the bumper so I'm just trying not to um, sand on this car until he is um, all the way done with his car I don't want to stir up no dust no unnecessary dust uh, so yeah so there, I see it right there man 
and uh hopefully that motor be going in there monday that motor right there be getting dropped off in this one so man y'all stay tuned man we're gonna see how it go